Hello, fellow healthcare people. This is Mark subbing in for Kyla, and welcome to another episode of The State of Health, where we bring you the latest updates from the medical world. Today, we're discussing a major breakthrough in pediatric healthcare. The Food and Drug Administration recently gave a green light to a shot designed to guard our tiny tots against the notorious respiratory syncytial virus, or as we know it, RSV. This approval marks one of the first shields against this perennial troublemaker that packs children's hospitals year in and year out. Imagine this as a sturdy umbrella that becomes available just in time for the fall RSV season. This monoclonal antibody shot is like an invisible shield that protects infants, and it's a welcome relief for parents and caregivers. The approved treatment, named Befortus, developed by Sanofi and AstraZeneca, tackles an illness that can be severe in both older adults and young infants. To give you an idea of the scale, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 80,000 children aged 5 and younger find themselves in hospital with this virus every year. Dr. John Farley, a respected official in the Food and Drug Administration Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, rightly pointed out that RSV can cause serious diseases in infants and some children, leading to a significant number of emergency department and physician office visits each year. The approval of Befortis is a crucial step towards reducing the impact of RSV disease on children, families, and the healthcare system as a whole. The good news doesn't stop there. The potential benefits of this treatment will also extend to our senior citizens. In recent months, the Food and Drug Administration has approved two vaccines against the virus for adults aged 60 and older. Now, you might ask, why is this important? Well, every year, the virus is linked to 60,000 hospitalizations and up to 10,000 deaths in people aged 65 and older, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. That's a pretty compelling reason to take this seriously, don't you think? In conclusion, the unanimous vote by agency advisors in favor of approving the treatment for infants is a giant leap forward in our fight against RSV and a testament to the relentless hard work of researchers and clinicians worldwide. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. But if you can't wait until then and you're eager to dive deep into the world of medicine, head straight to medschool.com, your go-to source for interactive medical education. We've got you covered on YouTube as well with fun and informative medical education videos that'll keep you hooked. And don't forget to follow us on social media for some laughs and behind-the-scenes goodness. Until then, keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close. It's Mark, signing off. Until next time.